Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan. And I'm Sierra. And today we're doing a trend that hopefully isn't too late. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> But we're hopping on the trend of what we spend on me because I think a lot of young YouTubers were doing that maybe like a month ago, maybe two months two ago. Two months ago, three months ago. <laughs> but we wanted to do it because we thought it'd be interesting. Ours is specifically from the perspective of being in the Midwest. Are things cheaper? I think a lot of people are like, oh, everything's cheap in the Midwest. So, I don't know. I thought it'd be an interesting angle. We're also no one else students. in the Midwest that's done yeah. this. I've seen a lot of like NYC, LA, you know, stuff like that. So. so we're gonna say that we're from the Midwest in the title, but we're specifically from Iowa, so just to give you some reference, but I feel yeah. like Iowa is a less clickable location that people care about, whereas the Midwest people might be like, oh, I haven't seen someone from the Midwest do this. Uh, we kind of do this a little bit differently. I know a lot of people have filmed this vlog style, just like when they're spending money, they'll be like, here's my receipt, you know, kind of in the moment. We definitely got clips of like when we were spending money, but not enough to constitute a whole video, so. So we're going to talk yeah. through what we spent. There have been a lot of ways people have done this video. So some people just do literally what they spend, like what comes out of their bank account that week is the what they spend in the week. Some people will break it down by like, oh, I'm making this meal at home, but you know, it probably costs five bucks or something. We're not doing it like that. <laughs> so you don't have to say how we're doing it. So we're going to walk through what we actually spent, like physically it had to say like, I'm paying for this right now, this week, and like we got a couple clips I think of pretty much everything we bought, so we'll mm -hmm. just like insert a quick clip when that comes about, but then also, so we're going to like finish off and say like the total of like what we spent in that week, and you guys will know that, like for each of us. Then we also do think that it's interesting to know other expenses that you pay on usually a monthly basis, or just like that are automatic payments that you kind of like might forget about, so we're going to also after that include what we spend on those types of things and then have like a total total number of what yeah. we spend roughly in a week if we divide it up. So I guess we can start off with Monday. All right, so for Monday, the only thing that I spent money on, and I knew going into this that like, I was like, I think I primarily spend money on food and just like the convenience of buying food when I'm on about. So I got lunch on campus at Noodles and Company and that cost me uh, $7.74. On Monday, I paid for parking when we went to lab. We have a class that's across the river, and so it's really just more convenient to drive. And so parking costs $2.40 for two hours. And that was it for Monday. <laughs> All right, so for Tuesday, I also got lunch again at Noodles. So I also was with Sierra when we got lunch. And I got the same thing, so it was seven seventy four again. Mm -hmm. And mine's seven seventy four because we get the exact same thing. And then we have this class like literally four times a week, so we have to pay for parking every single night. So this time I paid for parking and it was two forty again. And that's that all I spent for Tuesday. Tuesday. Alright, so Wednesday. Gets a little bit more interesting. I decided that I want to get my eyebrows done. And so I found this place that's kind of like it was the second time I've gone there, but it's the cheaper place that we've gone while we've been up at college. So uh, to get my eyebrows waxed plus the tip was $31, and then I also paid $7.50 for, oh, the parking ticket that we got that night. Yeah. I was like, what did I pay that for? Um, usually, so when we pay for parking, it only goes like with a two hour max limit, and so we're, our class is three hours, so we've just been kind of like doing the two hours. And, and we've been fine this far. We've been fine for three weeks, and then we actually got a ticket, which was $15, so we just split that the ticket and because... It wouldn't really be fair if I was just like, well, Megan, it was your turn to pay, so like you have to pay for the whole ticket. Yeah. So, we split that. Also, I think a lot of people are probably gonna be like, your eyebrows cost $31 to like get waxed because I've seen a lot of people say, oh, it cost me like $10 to get mine done. Where do you guys go? Mm -hmm. Because I've never had them done for less than $20. Wednesday, I spent money on parking, $2.40 again for the two hours, and then the parking ticket that we got after, uh, which my portion, I just paid $7.50. And that was all I paid money for on Wednesday. All right, so for Thursday, I didn't spend any money like during the day, but then again, we had our class that night, so I paid the two forty for parking. And then I really <clears throat> just wanted like a quick thing to eat, so I convinced Megan to get McDonald's after class. And so this is also the only thing I bought on Thursday. We split that five seventy two a piece. So and then Which Friday, I feel. that's like I a freaking. <laughs> when I said the total, I was like, wow, for two people. <laughs> um, on Friday. I paid at parking, which was 60 cents because we decided to drive it to the rec to work out that morning, which we don't always do, but we did that it day because it was cold. And so that was 60 cents. We got Estella's for dinner and I added a 15% tip, so the total that I spent was $12.06 on that. Uh, for mine, I'm kind of confused. I spent 13.80 at 
on a stalls. Um, and then also, when I came home that night, I was doing some online shopping because we're getting ready to go to Hawaii, and I had bought a swimsuit, a t-shirt, and some shorts, like some denim shorts, and my total for that was $120.12. I actually didn't spend anything this weekend, which is like, trust me, that's I usually spend at least something over the weekend. So normally I do spend money on the weekends, but like we didn't go grocery shopping. I kind of like just stayed in our apartment for a lot of the time. Well, I went grocery shopping before this started, and I was assuming that we'd go grocery shopping again this weekend. But sometimes, honestly, like that does like that does not happen for us. We can go like yeah, two weeks without groceries. Once like three we weeks. Gone one, but um, so we didn't end up buying groceries during this week, and so we didn't obviously include it in the cost. Yeah, and I also was gonna like I ended up buying a swimsuit that I was gonna buy that weekend, like Monday of this week. So it technically doesn't count, but. I was gonna do that to be like, oh, if I like paid for groceries and like the price would have been kind of the same. So just know that what I did spend this week when I give you the total is probably less than what I normally spend in a week. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna total up now. Saturday and Sunday, I spent nothing. All right, so my total that I spent last week was $158.54. And my total was $78.30, but like I've been saying, I didn't spend as much as I normally spend, so you probably could add anywhere like upwards of $100 to that, and that would probably be like, closer to what Megan spent, mm -hmm. closer to what is normal because some of the things that we do, like we go to a movie sometimes or like, yeah, I don't know. We just, we just we didn't do that much last week, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, not to say that's a bad thing because it's good for us. So I guess now we can go through our monthly expenses and, and then, then just divide that by like we'll divide four. that by four and, and add the total. So for rent plus parking, I pay $7.75 a month. I also pay $7.75 a month. So utilities is $39.23. That's like water electricity stuff. Okay. And then internet and cable is 180.41. Okay, also out here is this input. I feel like that's really freaking expensive. Yeah. So should we be like doing something? Should we just not have cable because we don't use it that much? Let me know. Can we each pay that? Yes. Uh, it's like 240. Oh, I did the math wrong. Hold on. It's not 180. I was like, oh my god, we're paying okay. 300 a month. <laughs> it's 240, so we each pay 120 41 still I think that's a lot so let me know if I should look into that um, all right so I also pay the same thing she mentioned because we split those um I also included gas obviously depends a lot but I would say during a month we probably fill up our car twice just on average and then usually it's like 30 ish dollars every time we fill up our car so I that's like 60 dollars that. I would guess a month on gas which is good because we have decently priced gas I but feel like also, here like, we each take turns paying for gas, so wouldn't you pay for 30 and I pay 30? Yeah, I was just including it because I'm guessing you didn't. I didn't. I can write that down, though. So we'll, we each say we'll pay for 30 of the gas. And then I have two subscriptions. So I have Spotify Student, which is $4.99 a month. And then I also have Disney Plus, which is $6.99 a month. So I have one subscription, no, two subscriptions that I pay for. There's this thing called Social Blue Book, which is, like, something that I pay 4 bucks a month for, at least, like, right now, to, like, Wait, give yeah. me... I probably won't keep paying for it, but, like, <laughs> since I've been getting, like, more opportunities for, like, brand deals, I had, like, literally no idea how to, like, price my stuff to post or, like, what to, like, tell brands I'd expect to be paid, and so that was just, like, a website that helped me do that, and then I also pay for Amazon Prime Student, which is $6.49 a month. I'm pretty sure I just looked it up quick online before this because otherwise I don't know how much I'm paying for it. And I think that's what it is. All right, and then the last thing that I have written down is our Hotworks membership, which is $49 a month. <clears throat> I've been I debating also about maybe that. not doing any more just because I feel like I haven't gone that much recently. We'll see. So when I add up everything for like monthly spending, I spend $253.91 a week. And I spend $256.03. So if we add that to what we spent on top of that, uh, my total comes out to $332.21 per week. And again, this was like a smaller spending week. So, All right, when I add all of mine up together, then I spent $414.57 last week. So let's kind of summarize, say what we learned. Um, I think that going into this, I don't ever really keep track of my spending. I just kind of like feel like I have an internal sense of like, yeah, I can pay for this or not. So. I actually think that my spending habits were really good this week, like dividing between spending habits and then like what you have to pay because you've committed to paying those things. I don't think my spending habits are like that bad. I agree with that, but it does kind of make me think about, 
I feel like when you do these types of videos, you also forget like that you're making money too. And so like you have to spend, you also like make money. So it's like, it's not like you're just losing money. But I also am like, I don't know, maybe I could like find cheaper rent or like yeah. um, things like that. We've been eating at our apartment more often instead of like paying for lunch than like what we did last semester. Yeah. We ate out pretty much like every single time we were on campus last semester. And so I'm just kind of like trying to be more aware of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We so definitely can, like, also like, talked about, if you have listened to our podcast, like potentially <clears throat> thinking of moving somewhere else at some point just because like we don't need to pay this much to get like a decently nice place. I think that where a lot of people get tripped up or, like with their spending, especially people our age, is online shopping. And I actually like really do not online shop that much like at all. So I think that's where a lot of my quote unquote savings come in compared to other people is that like I rarely order stuff online so I save money that way. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let us know if th like the bigger things like rent or gas or things like that, how does that compare to where you live? Do we have it really lucky or Already are we spending too much generous. money? Also, please let me know about cable internet stuff because I kind of just like signed up for it and didn't ask any questions. So like honestly, that'd be an instant savings of $120 a month. So let us know and we will see you guys whenever we post next. Bye. Bye.